The web's warhead. Where is that freaking warhead? Press lubricate that red button. Lubricate that red button. They have a great chemistry. Show is money. This show is money. This show is money. This show is money, man. Um, HBO don't miss. Apart from the final season of Game of Thrones, but actually no, the final two seasons of Game of Thrones, HBO really never miss, man. And I'm in. Like, I'm really in because in terms of just... You see, let me... I only watched the first season of The Walking Dead. I'm not a zombie guy. So this whole thing of zombies and being bitten and being infected uh for me it's been played so much and it's become such a gimmick i'm like that's not really my, my, my thing but obviously again it's an adaptation so it's obviously like a great concept from the last of us guys but already i already know from playing the bit of the the, the game that i played this background stuff that they have that is actually a great addition to embellish because i think the key thing what makes great adaptation is you t you have the source of the material, but what you add doesn't take away from that source, but helps to embellish and actually extract what is already good material. That is what makes great ad adaptation, because adapting is a skill. So, like, those bits, and I think that's probably what they're going to be doing, which I think is very clever. So, like, I think at the beginning of every episode, it's going to show you a segment of what the world was just before the infection and during the early days of the infection in O3. Because I think what that does is that it just gives you a it it a different perspective rather than everything just happening in twenty twenty three and when the infection is already is already twenty years in. So it's it's it just it, it helps just enrich this the story a lot more. And I just think it's a very interesting way in which um the writers have actually um decided to really add a bit more juice to, to the whole thing man. So and I think because even the first episode and this episode, that starting part, it grounds it because you're like, damn, infection. Because you know what it was? It's, it feels like this whole COVID or what um, um, Ebola was in Africa as well. We're like, bro, man, the thing of an infection, once someone just gets bitten, it's crazy. Just like in this episode, they said, look, nuke, nuke, nuke. Where's the warhead? Where is that freaking warhead? Press lubricate that red button. Lubricate that red button <laughs> because it's all finished right now. Sorry, I think got the hiccups. Um, but um, no, no. Like Pedro Pascal, the guy's a quality actor. The guy's a quality. Like the guy never misses. Narcos, Game of Thrones, Mandalorian. Even if I I hated the second episode, um, season, and in this, the guy is such a good. He's such a good actor. And he, I even saw him in another movie. Um. I think the unbearable weight of great silence, the, the, the film with Nicholas Cage, he was good in that as well, which was a comedy, so it shows his range. And I think the Bella Ramsey, see, at first, I was see, the thing about Bella Ramsey is she's just got a very funny face. That's the half, she looks funny. And she even looks funny in Game of Thrones, but she looks funny in, in this. She, she just has a funny face. But I think you can already see they have a great chemistry. Great chemistry. And I think what is very key about casting is not just having your two little are amazing actors, not that bomber and a DMS, but having great chemistry. And I think that that's why, you know, what she, they, they tend to do in casting. If you have two leads, it's chemistry reading. So, oh, this guy's a great actor. Oh, this guy's a great actress. Let's actually put them two together. So you may have a great actor and a great actress, but for some reason, the chemistry just ends hitting. Takes them away from their talents, but they're just not on the same page. But you just see that, yeah, there is something about them and they just seem to have that kind of little bit of um understanding which is which i think 100 percent is the paramount and the nucleus of this story but yeah but bro man like that section and i think i might played that this section i think i because i played the game years ago but i think i might played this section where they're actually going into this place and these guys who look freaking freaked with like their brains hanging out just the the camera work there was amazing just in terms of building tension um the kind of shots that they are taking as well and just them because again look in an autonomous universe i used to make films you know like basically acting making films and everything so is so i just look at you know um short choice 
um, choice of, of, of shots, when to cut, when to follow, how long you want the long shots to be, when you want the, 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 the cuts to be, and how you build tension in terms, in terms of how much do you draw the tension of the scene and the character. So just the choices from a directorial point of view that were made just in that scene, where you saw these two crazy brain guys come through. I think it's the clickers. I was like, oh, no, this is very good direction. Very good direction, man. And cinematography is popping off. It's, it's, I mean, I mean, and even because, you know, I was surprised that don't tell me you're not going to light the fire. Don't, because I thought, are you really just going to just drop it? I mean, bro, you just light the damn thing. How did I know it's like, it's to build tension, but come on. It took it, what, eight clicks to, to click the, the, the thing. But yeah, mad. Crazy mad, man. But then, um, yeah, man, crazy, man. Look, I mean, man, all of this. Because I think first episode, I was like, okay. Insurance, but now I'm like, okay, okay, things are popping off. Things are popping off, man. Because I think this is from a guy who I'm not a Walking Dead fan, I'm not a zombie fan. But I just think about this. Of course, you've got like, they're not really zombies, they're sort of weird creatures, but I think the heart of the story are these two. And I think you've got two really good actors here. Because if this, if Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey were either brick actors or didn't have good chemistry, then it wouldn't work, man. But yeah, tell me guys what you think of this second episode. Remember, guys, don't spoil it for people who've not. Played the freaking game. But yes, it's cool. It's cool. I'm in, man. I'm in. Very interesting, man. Guys, so tell me what you think of that second act, man. HBO, man. Got another one, bruh.